peeps, welcome back to my channel. I'm Enchanted Brat and it's so lovely to be here with you today. Today I have so much thrifts for you guys. Here's the deal. I was accepted to become a whatnot live seller. I actually was accepted back when I was living in Scottsdale and this was probably in like June of last year. I ended up scheduling my onboarding but then a lot of things happened in my life. It was just a lot going on at that time so I didn't end up doing the onboarding. I ended up getting canceled. So fast forward to like last week or two weeks ago, I met someone who inspired me to become a whatnot seller all over again. Basically telling me like how fun it was and like her success and stuff like that. And I was like, oh my goodness, I should have done that onboarding back then and I didn't. So I ended up contacting whatnot and it was like on a Friday and then they ended up accepting me again on that Monday. So I ended up getting the onboarding and now I am officially in you guys and my first show is March 20th. So I'm really excited about that, which is Monday, this Monday coming up, and I'm a little bit nervous, but like, what is there to be scared of? I'm literally talking in front of the camera all the time, but I don't know. <laughs> I've been like shopping even more, just like crazy. Like I already know I have like enough inventory for my first show, but it's kind of become like an obsession to just keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. So I kind of have to like contain myself a little bit, but I do have a lot of thrifts from the past few weeks. The video that I posted recently, that video was actually pre-recorded when I was living in Scottsdale. So that video is months old. <laughs> I know like it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I'm going to try to become active again because I do really, really, really enjoy making videos, especially fashion videos, thrifting videos. It's everything to me and like, sharing what I got like <laughs> it's gonna be so great and I'm just like so excited for you guys to be excited with me so before I let this video get too long let's just get to it so I literally have bags and bags and bags of clothes literally surrounding me some of them have been washed some of them still have tags so I'm kind of not really going in any sort of order so I'm just gonna start okay so the first thing that we have here I'm obsessed with nightwear like I already have too much look at my we're in my closet right now beware because it is an abyss clothes sharing hangers and these are all like my nightwear pieces this is not the whole frame it goes down a little bit further than that I know it's gotten out of hand but you know selling on whatnot is really gonna help me because you guys are gonna get a little piece of my closet plus some new pieces as well this right here I'm off task again, but like I wish I had been recording my thrifts all along because there's been weeks that's gone by and I haven't like recorded the, the amazing thrifts that I found. Like I took photos of them. I don't really know how I'm going to share it with you guys though. Like would you guys want like a kind of like a slideshow of like everything I've thrifted before this moment because I have, uh, it's just so much good stuff. Just for example, like look at this juicy tracksuit top, like what? what <laughs> like oh my god it's been months since i thrifted that now but like it was like i was just over the moon when i found that and it's like i didn't even share like what's wrong with me so i'm back to it this is kind of like a peachy tone i know the color is kind of showing up differently in the camera but i'm obsessed with these little diamonds that are going on right here and the lace details and i love i've just been loving the long gowns lately and look at the little trim at the bottom like, it's so beautiful. This piece that I have here is this really cute, like, crochet top. It kind of, like, screams spring, summer, kind of Coachella vibes, or just, like, walking around on the boardwalk by the beach. Like, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? I think it's so cute. I ended up finding two of these little cute lace camis. One of them I'm keeping for myself, and then the bigger size I'm going to be putting in my live show. So make sure you come and watch. But yes, I thought that was cute. And sometimes you just need these basic pieces and I feel like this is a little bit step up from basic so much clothes here you guys so I ended up getting this really cute one as well I love the ruffle details in the front again screaming coquette I actually have another shirt around here that looks fairly similar to this that I had to repair once I got home because it was like a small hole but I love this I just love the accentuation around the boob area it's just really cute so yes you guys like this is the perfect cottage core dress right here look at these checkers my sister always tells me like when i wear these she's like oh my god you click a picnic blanket i'm like thank you so much i think that is the best compliment ever <laughs> because i love this just like imagine the scene right now like you're by the beach 
you have like a little campfire going, a little picnic, and like, you know what, I take that back, we're by the lake, we're by the lake, that's even more cottage core. we're like in the forest, we found like this little lake, and we're just laying by it, we have the bread, the wine, we have the cheese, and we're just looking so cute, you guys, maybe we have a little cupcake too, maybe a cupcake that matches us, that is so cute, so the bottom, no lace detail i kind of thought about adding my own just because i always love when there's like that flowiness at the bottom but again it's just gorgeous and i feel like corsets corsets are everything and it will really bring this piece together then i found these really cute playboy pajama pants aren't they so adorable speaking of playboy i actually ended up finding a play two other actually i i don't know. It's been a Playboy year, to be honest. I found two Playboy purses this year, a Playboy blanket, and then I was at this antique store, and this man sells me 42 Playboy magazines for $30. Like, insanity. I have a picture, I'll post it, like, on the side here. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> And then another cute basic top, bringing in kind of like those pastel shades already because we are approaching spring real soon. I don't think we're in spring yet. Isn't it start like in April technically? But like we are approaching rapidly. Like next thing you know, it's gonna be happy holidays again. Love that tie in the front. And there's kind of like these lines right here that kind of give it like a corsetting effect. And then I love the ruched sleeves because then it kind of gives you the option to kind of wear it off the shoulder. And it's just a very romantic piece. This one, you guys, I don't know what it is about about this ring right here but I think I bought about two or three shirts with this same ring in the middle I just think it's so cute I don't know what it is about it it's just like so sensual I just think it's so cute like imagine like we're on vacation we're on vacation we're by the water we're sipping pina coladas where's the glasses really it's just an entire vibe you guys understand I think you guys understand what I'm saying like you know like don't talk to me I'm busy that's just what this ring gives me. Like, yes, I got all of that from a ring. <laughs> well, look at these bubblegum pants. Bubblegum is one of my favorite vintage brands. Yes, yes, yes. I love these extra pockets. Who doesn't? Do we not all love the extra pockets? And look at the extra buttons. Like, extra buttons, extra pockets. These are delightful. And you know what else? We have a boot cut finish. These are gorgeous, you guys. I love these so much. And that's saying a lot for me because I honestly don't even wear jeans like that. Like, I am very, very picky about my denim. Like, I don't just pick any denim. Like, these are just absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this gorgeous color combination. Look at this brown and pink combo, you guys. I really love that so much. Again, we have ruffle details. I just love this pattern. Like when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. It's got this really cute angel's tee. I feel like this is kind of like another one of those like basic tees that you can wear for like more of like a relaxed, chill day so cute i'm not like huge on red but i just really thought this was cute like the majority of it is pink and it just kind of gave me brats vibes especially with the little halo over the angels another cute tropical tank for the spring and summertime again with the ruffles the one i mentioned earlier that there was like a small hole so we kind of had to fix her up a little bit we added this gorgeous lace finish around it first it was just like this really small like white trim around and then we added like this laciness like isn't that so adorable and look at the heart buttons you guys is that not the cutest thing guys i love this so much it just gave me like cocktail dress vibes this is like an express size zero it has some like stretch to it though so it kind of like stretches out to be like a two at least and i love the reaching around the booty for the accentuation i don't even know if we'll actually get around to actually wearing this but it's still cute nonetheless my boyfriend actually thrifted this one so he is so good at thrifting like some of the things that are in here like the best some of the best things that i'm going to show in a minute are like things that he found and i was like what how did you find that like how so like this is one of them that i'm just in love with it's like a little cute bb sport zip up and it's in such excellent condition you guys like you don't understand like how soft this hoodie is like it's not like your normal hoodie material it's like really really soft like microfiber or something like that it is so cute and i don't know if you guys can tell but there's like actually stripes in it that's like cream and white 
stripes but it is so adorable and it just fits so nicely and just shapes your body so well i love it it's really hard for me to find cardigans that i love but look at this one it is so adorable does that not give you like liz lisa vibes it just kind of like accentuates the top part which is, i think is my favorite part like i don't know why i'm always like that but so i found this bra this one i'm actually kind of debating this is victoria's secret i'm not huge on black like i don't have a lot of black in my closet and i feel like when i buy black i don't really wear it that often but i just i don't know something about the like sheen to it was just really adorable kind of gave me like gatsby vibes and i ended up picking up this really cute skirt it kind of gave me like regency era vibes like imagine this like you're going to like a renaissance fair and you have like a corset my favorite a corset and then you have like a uh, maybe button up top that you tie on the top and you like fancy regency era oh that's cute huh regency era hairstyle like that is kind of what this gave me when i saw it and i think yeah the brand was bb which i was actually surprised because it didn't really give me bb when i first saw it but then i was like okay bb then i ended up picking up this piece this is, oh, the strap unhooked on me but it's this really cute free people dress oh i love how that looks i love the middle details look at that so pretty it's kind of like an aztec vibe going on but i haven't really quite decided if i was going to keep this one or if i'm going to sell it but it's just absolutely gorgeous and it's really hard for me to leave like really pretty free people behind because it's like one of my favorite brands and i scored some really cute juicy couture track pants so cute i love that little emblem right there it's so adorable another cute victoria's secret bra look how adorable this is speaking of bras this is definitely one i'm going to be keeping because pink and green is like one of my favorite color combos ever pink and everything is just everything to me anyway but pink and green i just love so much and honestly it's hard for me to find it so when i do find it i'm just really excited about it then i have this really cute fairy core type of dress and i'm like i've been debating for a few days like do i want to sell this do i want to keep it i think i'm gonna actually end up selling this one i think i think i think i hope i won't regret that but i just love the way it looked on because you could wear it up and then off the shoulders which is like one of my favorite looks and you guys this was like the perfect y2k nighty look how cute this is i've never seen anything with such cute patterns like this looks so like limited too and with the long beautiful nighties look at this one you guys oh my god we do have a small imperfection right here but that's in the seam so it's a really really easy fix to so just sew that right up but i love this you guys look at that lace detail are you ready for this next skirt i don't think you really are <laughs> oh my god it looks like so simple from here but just wait wait okay wait oh my god <laughs> is that not so cute oh my goodness oh this is another one of those ones where i'm like do i want to keep do i want to sell i don't know because honestly like this skirt is so long and i'm so short <laughs> But it's so beautiful. It literally screams fairy core. And I have a, a skirt that's very, very similar to this that's actually in my size. I'll show you guys, actually. So this is the one that I personally own. Look at it, you guys. Oh my goodness. It reminded me so much of it because look at the bottoms. Like, they're so similar where that's concerned. And they're both like denim skirts. This one I actually got when I was living in North Carolina. I went to like one of these little boutiques. They were really pricey there, but I did not care because this skirt was just way too one of a kind to leave it behind. So I went ahead and got it. But that's kind of like the vibe that it gave me when I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, it would be so cool to have a second one of these in my closet. So for now I'm gonna keep it, but I may change my mind in the future. <laughs> Simple but cute. Victoria's Secret Pink Sequin V-neck. I love it so much. Yes, I know it's literally screaming like 2014 Tumblr, but that was like an era. That was an era. So I still love wearing stuff like that. You know, if you're doing like a little bit of fitness, a little bit of yoga, you might want to have this on. 
so cute we have to be extra in everything we do right this really cute scarf i know we're like exiting winter but this i feel like is kind of a springy scarf because honestly is this gonna keep you warm in winter no it's not it's just meant to be cute like scarves in my opinion are just meant to be cute like you just wear them around like this and they just make you feel like you're the ish right I just think they're so cute. They're so cute. I love scarves. Oh, I love skinny scarves especially. I just feel like they heighten an outfit. <laughs> Got this cute little simple silky cami. It's more of like wear around the house kind of a cami, but like if you wanted to wear it out, you could. But this is from Fredericks of Hollywood, a little vintage piece here. My favorite part about this was the adorable little bows that are going on. Look at the bows. Oh, they're so cute and baby doll. <laughs> this is another one of those ones I was talking about where I was like obsessed with the circle in the middle. Am I gonna wear this? I am not. I'm really not. But like, do I want to have it in my closet anyway? Kind of. Like, I just want to admire it. Oh my god, this was one of my favorite tops that I've thrifted. Look how cute. It just gives me like juicy couture vibes it says royal highness the queen but you can call me sweetheart is that not me oh my god it's like exactly me i just want to wear this shirt every day <laughs> and this right here is so cute for some reason this is giving me like that cartoon 16 vibes i don't know why it doesn't make any sense at all but every time i look at it that's what i think of <laughs> maybe it just takes me back to like a happy time like a childhood time it does like kind of give me like when i was younger a skirt i would wear when i was younger for sure the harley like i don't like a lot a lot of harley davidson to be honest i don't want too much of it but if it's got like bling bling to it like that is so me i have quite a few of harley davidson pieces but they are all rhinestoned up <laughs> but this one's actually missing a few of the rhinestones but i bought some of the pink rhinestones so i'm just gonna fill in the gaps there and it's going to be back brand new these cute shorts honestly they're a little bit too big for me so i'm like deciding if I want to keep them or not, but I just love the pattern on the butt. Obvious reasons, sequence, sequence, sequence. This little piece is from Urban Outfitters. I just thought it was so cute. It kind of gives me, what does this give me? Kind of like Earth Girl, like fairy core kind of vibes, a little bit of cottage core, but I just think it's so pretty. I love the floral throughout. This might be one of my favorite 90s ever. I probably say that about every single one of my 90s, but look, oh my God. Oh my god, is this not beautiful? I love it so much. Look at that. Look at those details. Look at the floral. Look at the cheetah print. The lace. The bows. Like, what is not to love about this piece? This one is called In Bloom. And you guys, hot pink is not my first choice. But look at this. That is so cute. Does this not scream white decay? Oh, I love that. And it has like these really pretty roses on it and the bottom it says socal even though i'm a norcal girl it is still cute then with the cute bras this one's also from victoria's secret i love 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 i had to pay a little bit more since it was new with tags but honestly like why wouldn't you it's so cute this one's like another one of those pieces where i'm like do i want to keep this like is it my style though uh it is so cute though like look at that paisley you guys ever seen like stuff that you feel like is just so beautiful but it's just like not really like your style like that's kind of how i'm feeling like i'm saying it's not my style and i'm it literally looks just like the shirt i'm wearing <laughs> right now but i don't know i feel like i can kind of play around with my wardrobe because this is just really cute some really cute pink yoga pants i love these so much i've actually been looking for some of like those yoga pants that kind of have a fold down because like i said it kind of reminds me of that 2014 tumblr that i used to love so much now i kind of look back at my 2014 photos and i'm like oh my god it's so cringy but there's still like some fashion pieces in there that i like i'm obsessed with and these are one of them i feel like i don't have enough like simple tops like this especially navy blue like navy blue is a color i actually really like and i don't really have that much of it seeing something that you're gonna love in a minute here because i could just see it in the bag right now and i'm just excited so 
I ended up picking up this little nightie. And of course, like I said, I love this pink and brown mix. So I had to get this one. And then this one was really nostalgic for me. Like my sister used to have shirts like this where it was just like the chocolate bar like on your shirt. It was just really nostalgic for me. So I just couldn't leave it. <laughs> Next thing I ended up picking up is this really cute princess beanie. You guys, I don't even wear beanies like that. What's wrong with me? But like this is perfect for the winter time because I'm always trying to give my curls a break during winter. So I kind of keep them in braids and like kind of up. So I feel like it would be cute to have braids and then just throw on a cute little princess beanie where we're like hanging around in the snow. <laughs> now for the moment you've been waiting for. Hold on. Just like give us a moment of silence. This is not so beautiful. My boyfriend actually pointed this out to me and I was like, oh my God, he found it. The thrift gods were with us this week. I was so excited to find this. Oh my God, and not only this, but two of them, <laughs> two, two. Like, are you actually kidding me right now? Like, he found them both too. Like, he was, like, you should have seen him. Like, he was so happy. Like, he knew he had a gem when he was walking over to me. I was like, oh my God, did you not just do that? Like, oh my God, yes, two. Oh my God, I was so excited. And I was just like, I'm still on that high right now. Like, oh my God. Let's take a thumbnail photo. Yes, I found a ton of juicy bags at the Goodwill before, but, to just get them at the same time and my boyfriend found them for me too like oh my goodness and these are really 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 good pieces and like you guys look at the inside like it's so good i was just shook i was like no way these are in here for a steal no way like does anyone else see what i'm seeing does no one else care but me <laughs> kind of come down from the excitement not really not really there is a freaking playboy two-piece set stop Stop, you're like, Keila, stop with the good thrift, stop, I can't handle it anymore. I couldn't either, okay? Like, I was losing my breath. <gasps> okay, look. <laughs> so cute, and it's silky and pink on top of it, like, and it's my size? Like, how rare is that? So freaking adorable. And I know I mentioned a Playboy blanket earlier. I can show you guys, but it's honestly huge, so I probably won't even be able to get it in the frame, but I'll still show you. This is it. It is literally huge. It's huge. You guys, I'm not even going to be able to open it. Like, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best over here without dying. See the huge bunny? Oh my god, yes. And then the bottom of it says Playboy. Oh my god. I wish I could open it and like show you guys, but I feel like it's not even going to get in the camera correctly. But you guys get the point, right? Like, oh my god. So now you guys can see like why I was so excited this month. Like, the thrift. And I ended up picking up this little cute bralette i guess you can say but i've never seen one with like the cute core setting in the front look at it oh my goodness the little rhinestone hearts though are those just not so adorable you guys know i love rhinestones just from this haul alone you've seen how much i love sequins rhinestones just bedazzled things oh my god so i heard capris are making a comeback i don't know if they are or not either way these are cute I love pink, you guys know this. I don't know, I just think they're so cute. And imagine it with that top I was talking about earlier. It was what matched so perfectly with these capris. It's so cute. It's just like a more casual vibe. The piece I have right here is this adorable, look at this top right now, you guys. It is so cute and it's baby fat. To top it off, it's baby fat, you guys. Oh my God. Does this not just look like so psychedelic? It's so pretty. Never know what you're gonna find. There's so many stores around to go to and you're just like, oh my God. You're like, I need to get everywhere like as fast as possible before anyone else gets my thrift. <laughs> like a panic and anxiety attack on 20, but still like, oh my God, I love it so much. I've just been loving like this banana color lately. Like I've never been quite into yellow, but lately like the banana shade, oh my God, I love it to a more simple piece just this really cute tube top because like i said sometimes we need normal things at times it's like this really pretty eyelet at the top and then it goes down to a frilly bottom which is my favorite guys you know i love 
the frilly Regency era Liz Lisa kind of vibes. Look at this. I get that top, you guys. And then the lace throughout. Oh my god. And it's like this really pretty sheer material. I know I said I'm not a huge fan of black, but this was just way too cute to just leave it there. I picked up this really cute piece. It does have a couple of stains, but I was hoping to get it out since it was so cheap. A girl went down on it just because it had the stains. So it was like unrealistically cheap like so I was like let me just get it because you never know maybe I can get those stains out I'm not sure but I just thought it was really cute and like fairy core guys I actually found an America's Next Top model shirt my sister actually had one when we were younger and I loved it so 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 much but it got lost <laughs> stolen but <laughs> so when I saw another one I was like whoa really wow that's really cool I think it says like glam rock on it Glam rock, glam rock, glam rock, and then it has this little America's Next Top Model logo in the corner. I know, we know this show is problematic, but who doesn't want a top model shirt, right? I found this really, really cute little cardigan slash kimono kind of thing. It gives me, again, that fairy core vibe, and I love how the sleeves kind of bell out. Just look at that, like, perfect crocheting detail oh I love that so much I just thought it would be so cute paired on top of like a cute spring dress just when it's like those colder spring days and you just want to like be even more cold because this isn't going to give you any type of warmth at all but like you just want to be like that added protection of cuteness you know what I'm saying <laughs> at it again with another 90. <laughs> Not a surprise here. It's this a really cute brown one. I think the lace detail is kind of like lavender. I don't know what it is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Some cute little zebra pajamas. I really wish I had found the matching top, but I looked everywhere around the store and they just weren't there. So I was like, whatever, I'll just get these. Up this really cute hoodie, you guys. I know it's missing the drawstring, which I'm kind of sad about, but I'll just replace that. But it's like this kind of like velour material and then again guys with the beautiful rhinestones i love that yes it's black but i will give it a pass if it has rhinestones yes and then i got this really cute mini skirt but to be honest you guys my butt is probably just gonna fall out of the skirt so <laughs> i'll probably have to end up selling it i actually didn't get to trying on this one yet but honestly, we already know what the outcome is going to be. <laughs> found a couple of things from my childhood. This cute little Hello Kitty cap from 2001. It just gives me like beach vibes again. Like Malibu Barbie a little bit. <laughs> Coconut girl kind of vibes. Like, yes, it's going to be so cute with my curls and stuff. Oh my god, it'll be so cute on the boardwalk. And then my boyfriend found me these cutest little charms. Look at these. I love like adding these to like purses so like I know I already have a Poe but I needed another one I'm like I'm not leaving Poe behind I love Teletubbies so much literally Teletubbies are everything you guys are like what is that ugly creature it is a Teletubby don't disrespect to my Teletubbies she has her cute little peppermints like the peppermints are everything you guys oh she's so cute the amount of excitement when I found this hoodie like an actual one from when this was released like a vintage one like not a remake because Twilight made like its run around it came back around at Hot Topic and I ended up getting the most of let me show you just let it speak for itself oh my god <laughs> I got this from Hot Topic yes they brought back more Twilight merchandise and I was there for it. I was not missing that so, like, you know, when things go away and people try to hike the prices up crazy, I'm like, I'm getting my Edward backpack before it's too late. So, <laughs> funny story, when I got this from Hot Topic, they actually had a New Moon hoodie. And I tried it on, and I just didn't end up getting it for some reason. I was just like, no, like, I'll wait. And I'm so glad I waited because now I have this one. It's so much cheaper and the details are so much better the image quality is better and just like the way the design is because the hoodie i tried on at hot topic was like bigger kind of like more masculine it was like just bigger and this one is more like form fitting to me and i like love that so much so i'm so glad i waited but look at that oh my god i need to see twilight again on the big screen like they just need to bring it back around in my neighborhood or wherever i'll drive to go see it just to see it again on the big screen another one that i would kind of consider a basic but not so basic like a cami is basic right but this one is like the next level up from basic like i always mention like yes look at the ribbons 
look at the lace look at the sequin this has everything you need in it i've shown you guys so many tops that look like this i know but i'm just obsessed with the milkmaid look the coquette look okay i'll probably end up adding my own lace to the bottom to match the lace at the top but look how cute that is i love the buttons in the middle i love just so much blurriness going on ah! so i just need to have it I don't care if there's any of the same shirts in the closet if they look like this I'm not leaving it have you guys like ever seen like the Russian girl like winter aesthetic on Pinterest like is this not it like this is so like snow bunny like wait till I zip it up wait till I zip it up is this not snow bunny like imagine we are ice princesses we literally have our ice skating outfit underneath with our stockings and our little like frilly skirt and we are putting this on top we are so cute imagine us at the ice skating rink with this oh my god and look at the little snowflakes oh my god that's so cute and the fur oh my god i could not leave this behind it was just way too cute it's gonna be so warm and toasty for those winter months when we come back around to the holiday season i'm already excited i'm already it's the most wonderful time i'm already ready for christmas again <laughs> so i love cooking and baking but this you guys imagine cooking and baking in this oh my god the pockets are hearts you guys the pockets are actually hearts i don't know if this was like handmade by someone or if it's sold like this but you guys oh we just cannot i cannot get over this and it to appreciate this Lindsay lohan album yes my boyfriend found me this today i was so excited to get it i don't quite know where i'm going in these <laughs> in these leggings or stockings whatever you call them but like i was just getting like such fairy core vibes from this i don't know how i'm gonna style these yet but they were just like too unique to just leave behind and another pink item i know we are literally always getting pink but again you can't have too many of these honest you guys i couldn't even tell you if i already own the shirt or not i might <laughs> I might if I do I'll be selling this one but again I just love those little frillies around the front it's not so lovely oh my goodness yes I know you see the amount of beautiful 90s I have behind me but I'm adding yet again another 90 because I'm obsessed look at how cute this is and Depop is always charging way 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 too much for pieces that look like this so when I find them myself I'm just like yes yes I don't know where we're going in these hats but <laughs> the winter hats were just coming through for us this month so I just had to get this like oh my god again it's one of those pieces I can only really wear when I have braids in but oh my god it's so cute <laughs> imagine these with like really furry boots like i have these furry boots that are so freaking cute they're in the living room so i'm not gonna get them right now but they're like really really furry they're like really furry like scene girl boots and they're just gonna look so cute with this oh my god yes guys i literally found like the miniature version of the dress i showed you in my last thrift haul it looked just like this except it was super long and this is like the baby version of it isn't it so cute i'm finding this cute mini skirt it's too big for me so i'm kind of sad about that but it'll go to a lovely home on my whatnot stream i've been showing a lot of clothes so i'm actually gonna throw in a couple of pair of shoes that i picked up i picked up these they gave me like victorian vibes you guys look at those shoes they are so cute i love them chunky sneakers you guys these chunky sneakers are so cute i don't like to wear sneakers unless like obviously like i'm working out or something but the chunk the amount of chunk that was here and the very amazing price point for these i was just like i'm not leaving these behind they are just so cute they need a little bit of cleaning up but that is very easy here is a cheers to my boyfriend for finding another marvelous piece look at this you guys oh my god sometimes i'm like is he a better thrifter than me i don't know and he also found this one you guys look oh my god it's so beautiful look at that and it's pink pink ribbon in the middle i don't know if it was originally pink or if they threw in the pink either way i'm here for the pink <laughs> you know i am because this is a black corset and so 
All I needed was some pink. All I needed was some pink, yeah. My little vintage coin purses that I'm obsessed with. I'm still obsessed with vintage coin purses like this. I have so many. What I loved about this Hello Kitty top was that it was a pink and green mix. And it's honestly, like I said, a hard combination for me to find because I love it so much and I just like, I'm always looking for it. And it's just rare to show up. So when I see the combo, I get it. And I love Hello Kitty, so. Perfection. The colors are coming full swing because we are coming into spring and summer and we need those pops of colors everywhere. I have this one, which honestly, like, it's not exactly the color I always go for, but I just thought it was really pretty. I love the details in it. Kind of like a soft red, like a little bit lighter than burgundy, and then it has like this really pretty kind of like dusty rose edge. I just think it's so like Elena Gilbert, so. <laughs> we have this really cute dress, you guys. Oh my god, I love this pattern so much. It's kind of like a midi dress, and then it kind of falls into this asymmetrical hem. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and on top of that, there's like sequins throughout, you guys. There's sequins throughout. This pattern is to die for. I'll probably never let this dress leave my side. It's like one of my favorite things that I own at the moment. Really cute, asymmetrical hem skirt. Oh my god, I love it. It's like this pastel green shade. Every time I find this color green, I'm literally grabbing it. And again, with the triangular shapes, the slits. Yes, the slits are everything. I love this piece so much. I literally probably have one orange thing in my entire wardrobe, but you guys, this piece is so cute. It's my dad's favorite color too, so like, I'll wear this on his birthday. I'll wear his favorite color for his birthday. That's literally the only time I wear orange. Like, the one orange dress I had, I wore on his birthday. So this will be next year's birthday outfit, I guess because I literally never wear orange but this is so cute you guys reminds me of like waves or maybe like kind of roses like the petals of a rose that's kind of like the pattern I'm kind of seeing in it I don't know everybody probably sees something different but I think it's so gorgeous picked up another little basic tank like this because I always need something like this to wear underneath all of my clothes it kind of has like this ripped pattern to it and then like a slight little trim around it and I picked up this really cute piece I honestly couldn't even tell you if this is supposed to be a top or a dress but I just liked the pattern I thought it was really pretty and kind of like a unique color combination as well look at these pockets on the side y'all like what what was Walmart doing back then no bow like no boundaries was doing such a good job back then like what happened you guys I just sold out but I swear, like, I when I find Novo, like, from back in the day, it's so good. I'm like, you guys need to go back to your roots for real. Even these old tags, they're cute. <laughs> God, you guys, is this not a Dollette's dream, a Coquette's dream right here? This is so beautiful. I love pieces that look like this. Like, I have so many pieces like this. Not like this exactly, but like the white and then like the frilly and like the eyelet. But like bringing it all together in this piece is just like no other. Oh my god, look at that frill. The buttons. Like this has everything that I dream of in a shirt. Besides pink, but we don't need that in this one. I don't think so. This piece, I think it's a little bit big on me, but it is still so cute. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet, but look at the corsetting on the side, you guys. Oh my god. And look at the middle ruffles. Oh my god, like that accentuation that we're talking about. Look at that BCBG. Again, we have the sequins. That is everything to me. I just love it. Look at this. It kind of gives me like racer jacket kind of vibes a little bit I don't know it's like where are we going girl like this is a bad chick <laughs> this is a bad chick jacket huh but I love it it's BCBG and it's rhinestones if it doesn't have rhinestones then most likely I'm not getting it like I feel like every single one of my hoodies that I purchased have some form of rhinestone going on <laughs> one of these like simple little button up tops I loved the little like strips of lace on the side and of course the buttons like this just gives me like that coquette vibe if you kind of pair this with like a really cute like mini skirt or like a uh, a pleated skirt I think it would be so cute especially if it was all monochromatic like imagine that oh my god and imagine it with like that blue snow bunny jacket I showed you earlier oh my god so cute I really told you guys I was obsessed with this color but this green 
oh my god I love it and it's like layers and layers of ruffles and this little tie on the side and it like ruches up you could like tie it oh my god this green like I was so happy when I found this and the other green skirt on the same day I was just like oh my god like yes green we are living for this green color I love it it's perfect for the spring you guys I'm so excited to wear this, this one kind of gave me like juicy couture vibes even though it's not again i just love rhinestones you guys so i'm just gonna be buying like most things with rhinestones on it are gonna be like in my closet and it just had those juicy vibes so i was like i'm not leaving this one and i picked up another simple tank top like this one it's pink we got the frillies going on i love this long skirt oh my god look at this it's like a max i think this is Yes, it's kind of considered like a midi to maxi. It just depends on how tall you are. But I would say like it's it's probably a little bit more midi because I'm just a little bit short. So I love it so much. And look, a slit, you guys. Oh my god. The slit, you guys. I love a little peekaboo on the side. Yes. And this has this beautiful pink cheetah print. And it's like mixed with paisley. I love when there's so many patterns kind of going on at once. And it's just like you don't even know where to go with your eyes. And it's like this will be so cute with like silk top that buttoned up and had like little flare sleeves like oh my god that would be so cute and imagine like you tied it up and then you like layered jewelry on top and you had like a little updo too oh my god we are just chilling in France yes we are <laughs> so then I have this one again like I love like kind of like pinkifying Elena Gilbert <laughs> so like this gives me like Elena Gilbert but like she probably wouldn't really wear pink so it's kind of like a Elle Woods ified Elena Gilbert but I just love this so much I found this really cute one this one's kind of like a kind of like a meshy silk piece and it has like these little roses on it and the rhinestones you guys yes again with the rhinestones I love this I feel like it would be so cute like layered on top of like a pink skirt and we can like put like a corset in the middle or like a belt or something and again layering the jewelry I just think this would be so cute and maybe like a little like beret or like little hat action going on. I think it would be so cute with this look at this little BB bodysuit you guys it is so cute it's like a little bodycon dress oh my god I love it. I can't even show you guys how it looks, but it kind of like crosses at the neck. And then it just says, BB! <laughs> a mini dress, and it's like, you know, probably like really fitted. But you guys, BB, rhinestones, like I'm here for it. Like we could layer on top as well. Then I ended up finding this really cute BCBG mini dress. Oh my goodness, you guys, silk. Silk is one of my favorite materials ever. I love those really soft materials like silk and velvet and suede and I just love them all. And I especially love like lace details and sequins you guys like I just love anything that's like as girly as possible to be honest and I just love everything kind of like free-flowing like this oh my god it is just like does this not give you like Serena Vanderwoodson though like yes this one had like a more like vintage coquette vibe to it I ended up is this inside out or no I think it's inside out hold on you guys but yeah I just thought this was so cute like I said you guys I'm becoming obsessed with like this little adding this yellow color to my collection I love it. Yes, you're saying correctly. It is another pink slip. I'm obsessed. I know the top part is like silky and then the bottom part is like this really pretty mesh. And then I'm obsessed with like the little bow. Look at the bow. That is so cute. I love this dress. It is so cute. Look at the middle detail. You could probably tell by the length of this video and like what you've seen so far that this is like entirely my look. Oh my god, look at that. It's like a mini skirt attached to a tube top. That is so cute. And it looks like it could have like had a belt with it as well. Like I think a belt would be cute. But I just love it the way that it is. Like I love how it looks corseted in the middle. I love how the buttons, you can actually open them. It's not like stitched closed or anything. I hate when they do that. So you can like choose how much cleavage you want to show, you know? And these are more on the simple side just for like workout. Just for like workout. And yoga, I like to have like a little bit of things that are more simple, but I love a yoga pant and I love the flare and I love, again, the sequins. So if we got sequins, then you got me. Winter just ended, but I have been waiting for one of these freaking sweaters to come into my life and it is here now. I love it so much. Oh my god, it's off the shoulder 
and it's long and then it has this beautiful lace trim at the bottom this is going to be so cute with my favorite pair of leggings and like some tall furry boots like we are going to be so cute winter coquette vibes like yes i think we're actually approaching the final items you guys so i got this little simple tank top it's black i know but look at the bows Look at the bows at the bottom. And I got this little top. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like this line around that's kind of like in a shape of a bib. But I love stuff that looks like that. And it has like these really minuscule roses all over and the like line stitching. Oh my god. Everything about this is just so cute. I love it so much. And then the last, I think this is actually the last clothing item of things that I'm keeping. I was going to share like things that I was going to sell in my live stream, but I realized this video is pretty long as it is you're just gonna have to make sure you bookmark my shows and stay tuned and actually join me for my live show so that you can actually see like the things that I sell because like there's some of the things that I decide that I don't want anymore and there's things that I actually go out and look for for other people and I find like other styles as well like, I know that people have like other aesthetics like they like goth or they like kind of like a bohemian like 70s look and so sometimes I will go out and I'll look for those things like specifically for those type of people because when I'm shopping for myself I'm like solely looking for like coquette type stuff and like some vintage Y2K or stuff like that but I understand that there's people that have other aesthetics so I want to please them as well so there's definitely things that are in the shows that I don't show here on the channel so make sure you stay tuned for those and make yourself a little whatnot account and come and follow me and watch me in my streams and come buy some cute stuff you guys now that I said all of that I'm just gonna show you the last piece which is this one. Oh my god you guys saving one of the best for last I love it look at that bow like we are going to tie this a powder blue color and look we have sequins once again that we love so 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 much and the lace the asymmetrical hem it has everything we need and the last thing i'm going to show you guys is my boyfriend found this cute adorable little girl this guy oh my gosh so cute you guys so i'm literally obsessed with melanie martinez who else is excited for her album coming on the 31st and lana's album coming on the 24th i am going to die this kind of reminded me of like melanie martinez and like her little toys that she has it's called like rubens or something like that where like it just kind of gives me like Melanie Martinez vibes. If you guys watch her music video, she kind of has like these toys like in the background and kind of like throughout her videos and stuff like that. And she also had like her own little Depop shop at a point. And it was always so hard for me to find little things like this, but this just gives me that so much. And my boyfriend actually found this one for me. So I was so excited when I got it. I was like, oh my God, yes, that is exactly what I wanted. This is everything. I love it. It's from 1996, so it's a little vintage piece. I'm so obsessed with it. She's so adorable. <laughs> Stay tuned for my live streams. I'm really excited. My first one is Monday and I'm going to have so much more after that because I feel like I'm just going to be so in love with live streams. You guys obviously know I love being in front of the camera. So I just feel like it's the perfect little thing for me to do. And I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent with you guys, but life just gets hectic sometimes. And sometimes we just need a little break away from everything. Just make sure you like let me know what else you guys want to see because thrifting is like one of my favorite things to do. So I love sharing my passions. If there's ever anything else you want from me, just kind of like comment below and I'll see like what I can do. So I will end the video here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and click the bell notification to be notified when I post a video. Remember my first live stream is on Monday, so if you want to see me show really good thrifts, then stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and click the bell notification to be notified when I post another video. And I will be back soon with so much more. Bye! Mwah.